Why is Valorant so hard in 2023? Valorant, even from a noob's perspective, is just a really hard game. Most people hit headshots just like that, even in non-competitive game modes. In competitive, silver, and even bronze players have no trouble hitting headshots or have good aim. I've noticed that since I have been in gold 3 in 2021, and as of 2023, the average bronze player even feels like a gold player back in the day. It's crazy how fast people are improving, and this is the reason why Valorant is so hard in 2023. Players are improving at such a fast and rapid rate that it just becomes hard to play the game if you're trying to play casually or just to climb the ranks. You have to know what you're doing. If you want to be above average and go beyond gold, you're going to need to master the fundamentals such as counter strafing, aiming at head level, and having good game sets, etc. Gold players nowadays have all these fundamentals mastered, and some are scary to face against. This is because of just how fair Valorant is. This comes from the repetition of aim training from the Valorant range, or from uh, aim labs or Kovacs, which makes players aim get so much better over time and um, make it increasingly harder for players to get good at the game, especially for like new players. The amount of guides on YouTube for aiming and game sense and um, movement and as well as abilities, all that combined just makes it so competitive because people have all these resources to use. Compared to a game like Fortnite or FIFA, you're guaranteed to climb the ranks if you're better than the other players at aiming or abilities. Even with aim alone, if you master it, it could easily place you in plat or above using a duelist. With FIFA for example, it's more pay to win rather than it being an actual skill being good at the game. So if you get the best card for example, you're going to have a better chance of winning in FIFA, no matter how good the other person is. With Valorant, People with more experience and practice with aim and movement would easily be better than you. This makes the game super competitive just like CS because it's based on skill and if you fall behind, you're just going to fall through the ranks. The other part of Valorant, agents and abilities doesn't make this problem any easier. Learning lineups is hard, so if you're going to learn lineups, I suggest maining an agent. You have to remember the positioning of yourself and the mouse perfectly for them to work. Finally, smurfs. Smurfs are also a big problem for Riot to deal with, but I think that problem will never be solved because people are always going to want to smurf no matter how many blockades there are. There are smurfs in like 1 out of 3 games in silver and gold lobbies. This is definitely a big cause of the rank switch as players who used to be plat or gold are now silver and bronze. Even though it looks bad that you're in bronze, the players are actually gold players, but since there are so many smurfs, you think you're actually bronze. Although this might make Valorant seem hard, I suggest you check out the official Valorant rank distribution I linked in the description. Even being gold is above average, so don't think that you're bad if you're silver 3 for example. In conclusion, Valorant is just super hard due to its high skill ceiling. However, I think this is actually a good thing for Valorant players, since players always want to get better at the game and have this competitive drive. That's why people rage so much in Valorant and why they get so hyped up in winning. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.